Hi guys. Ah, how you doing? Ah. <laughs> okay. Let me be serious. Hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um today we are doing a Q&A. Um so it was one of the suggestions I got last time when I posted a video so I posted a video and I asked people to give me some pointers on what I should do better you know to engage with people what would people like to see and most of my friends um said that um do a Q&A like you didn't introduce yourself in your first video so do a Q&A so people can get to know you so this is my Q&A for today <laughs> When I wanted to do this video, I first tried to ask people, my friends, on my WhatsApp. I posted a status and I said, any question you've always wanted to ask me, what is it? And people, I even put that on Facebook. And people, I don't know, maybe they misinterpreted or they were just being funny. But they were asking me questions like, when will my son meet his uncle? Um, like stupid questions, nothing about me. So now here I am. I went to the internet and googled some get to know me tag questions. And I got 31 questions. I, I, I don't know if that's a lot. <laughs> um, if it's a lot, then maybe I'll cut out some questions. I don't know. But let's get into the first question. <sighs> My full name is... Shonise Shireen Parsons. I absolutely loathe my second name. I, I'm not a fan, guys. I just feel like it's for old people. I feel like if I was old and somebody called me Shireen, then it's appropriate. But if someone calls me Shireen now, I'm like, no, stop. Just call me my first name. All right. Um. I get this question a lot. I don't know what it means all I know is that my name is an Islam name and I googled for a really long time trying to figure out what is my name's meaning and the best I could get was that my name is even a chocolate brand elsewhere and I love chocolate <laughs> um, I was born in Johannesburg um, Coronation Hospital yeah born and bred Joe Burger that's who I am um, my biggest accomplishment thus far is obtaining a degree you guys hey it was hard to get that degree I wanted to quit I was I was ready I was ready to be a dropout but later i decided no let's just do this and then i finally graduated so that was really amazing for me having a degree means everything ish it's a hard question guys what inspires me you know seeing success stories Whenever I watch something on TV or I hear someone tell me their success story, I get inspired and I want to do better. I want to do more. I want to try and succeed in something. So yeah, success. They even make me emotional. That's the thing. They make me so emotional. I don't know. Somehow I get sad, but I'm happy at the same time. It's weird. <laughs> I don't want to answer this because I know... There's this one friend of mine. I don't want to name names, but let's see what, what can I, who is she? We lived at the fields together. So when you see this video, you know that I'm talking about you. <laughs> Her favorite drink is Coca-Cola, guys. Coca-Cola, I love Coke. I'm trying to stop drinking it, but it's so hard. I love Coke. I like jeans they're comfortable they match with 
almost anything you can make it formal or semi-formal also casual dress it up with heels sneakers sandals anything goes with jeans so i really like jeans putting on makeup guys sometimes i'm just like it's 10 o'clock at night and i'm bored i don't know what to do i can't sleep i will put on makeup like i literally will put on makeup at 10 o'clock at night get out of the bed and put makeup on <laughs> that has to be biology i i i flourished in that subject it was the best thing it made sense i mean something you could relate to most people can relate to it you know what's happening when they talk about this you recognize it so i would say biology was my favorite subject mathematics i struggled guys i am not a numbers person i'm really not a numbers person i remember the one time in grade 10 i literally broke down i was studying i broke down i went on my knees i prayed to god help me pass just a 50. that's all i wanted yes maths maths i got bad memories about math mm -mm. <laughs> This one is a hard question for me. I love animals. I love animals so much. I love dogs. I love cats. I love cats a lot. A lot. But I love dogs too. A lot. I think I'm both. I can't choose. Um, at home, we've had both pets. We've had cats and dogs together living in harmony. And I, I really can't choose between dogs or cats. I can't. <laughs> I think it would be I don't think I'm confident enough I don't believe in myself and because of that I tend to to just step back and not even try to do anything and then there's an opportunity missed I think that's one of my biggest weaknesses I cannot I'm not confident and I'm trying to be more confident with this YouTube thing, so so bear with me, bear with me. <laughs> um, hey, I should keep my finger on these, yeah, because I now I forget which question I'm on. Okay, thirteen. <sighs> it's hard to choose. I've had two favorite teachers. One in grade four, Mrs. Sale. She was so sweet. She loved all her students she was fair whenever she taught i understood i didn't even have to study for an exam because i she was just such a great teacher or i could have just been that smart i don't know <laughs> um and the second one is my biology teacher of course because that was my favorite subject ever she was funny she was stylish she was beautiful she taught well she she was a great teacher Mrs. Paramount, yeah, from grade 10 to 12, she taught me. <laughs> I think I can. Let's try this. Am I doing it? I think I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm not that good at whistling. Mm -mm. I'm not that good at all. I can try now. But sometimes it takes a while for me to do it. Like, like my lips will get so dry and then wind does not want to pass. So, oh, that sounded disgusting. Not, not that wind, okay? Not that wind. Um, but yeah, let's try. <laughs> I, I can't whistle. I can't whistle to save my life. Um, for me, it's both. I only sleep with the lights on when I'm scared, when I'm feeling scared, if I heard like noises outside, which is weird. Because if you turn on the lights, then people outside can see your shadow. But yeah, if I'm scared, I sleep with the lights on. That's that's just how it is. This next question. I think it's the way life changes when in love. it would have to be kissing i'm a romantic okay i love intimacy 
moving on. <laughs> Titanic hands down. Come back, Jack. Come back. Jack. Come back, Jack. Titanic. Oh, plus Leonardo DiCaprio is cute. I never really actually thought Ryan Gosling was attractive. He's never been my type of guy. I don't, I don't, nah, he's, he's not even okay. He's just Ryan Gosling to me. His body though. Okay, let's just move on. I do not. I searched and searched for years and I did not find one. So no. Some people say I'm an alien. They say it's not human to not have a birthmark. I am 100% human and I do not have a birthmark. Hands down, it would be my boyfriend. He'd be the first person I call. I, I don't know. He, not that he would know what to do <laughs> with the dead body. No. But. He would tell me how to handle it. Go to the police, tell your parents. I, I just, my boyfriend, he's the first person. I, I tell him everything. I am a Capricorn born on January 11th. Capricorn star sign. sure I want to answer this. It's embarrassing. So at home the first pet we had was a cat. A white cat, an adult cat. I was terrified of that cat for some reason but today I love cats. But um, she didn't have a name. We called her Kitsi. Kitsi only because like when you needed her to come to you go Kitsi Kitsi so it's not actually a name, but it's, it's more like a sound you make to call your cat. But we never named her, so her name was Kitsi. <laughs> I was 19 years old. I was such a late bloomer, guys. 19 years old was my first date. And yeah, I'm now 27, so oh well. Definitely alone. I want to dwell in that pain guys and I don't want people to ask me what's the matter? What's wrong? Why are you crying? I'd rather be alone and once I'm um once I've accepted that we've broken up then I can go to my friends and you know tell them what happened. But I'd rather be alone. Well I don't wish they were my sister, but if I had to pick a female celebrity that uh, could be my sister. I definitely would choose Tamara. Tamara Maori. Because I think she's just like me. Maybe we would fight a lot because I think she's just like me, but I feel like she's more understanding. She's such a sweet girl and she she loves family. Like that's what she values more than anything. She's not like hardcore like work 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 ah uh, make money career uh, uh. so I'd, I'd rather be i'd rather have tamara mari as my sister and i think she's cute man she's cute she's pretty <laughs> definitely tay i imagine myself having some high tea one day with the pinky sticking out like that <laughs> I can sing. I'm only laughing because I'm very shy. I'm very shy about the fact that I love to sing. Being a singer was one of my biggest dreams ever. Um, I don't know if I want to sing something for you guys or not. I th what could I sing for you quickly now now? Nah, 
I ain't gonna sing yet. Maybe at the end of the video. Yeah, let's let I'll sing something at the end of the video. Um, yeah, because I can't think of which song to sing at the moment. Uh, it was Hitch. That was the very first movie I went to watch. The cinemas of my sister. I was 12 years old and it was amazing. And funny thing is, I think a week later, a few days later or weeks later, we were watching, I think it was um, Top Billing. And they were talking about movies and they were speaking about Hitch and they showed the trailer. And one of the scenes that they showed on Top Billing, we didn't get to see at the cinema. Like somehow that scene was cut out. And my sister and I looked at each other like, we went to Sunset City to watch it and we like, we didn't get to see the whole movie. Or maybe I fell asleep, I don't know. But I, I didn't fall asleep, no ways. Who falls asleep in a cinema? It's so cold in there. It's so cold. Ah, I already answered that one at the beginning of the video. I'm 27 years old. Almost 13-ish. It's tough, man. I'm afraid of bugs, firstly, like creepy crawlies, insects, things that jump or fly or crawl, like, oof. I guess that's everything. <laughs> but as long as it's small, I'm really afraid of it. And the worst bug story I remember now, excuse me, it didn't happen to me. It happened to my sister. We were sleeping, we went to visit my aunt. And in one, in the one room, we decided, okay, we'll sleep together. And my aunt, my aunt's house was infested with cockroaches, guys. Like, yo, her house was infested with cockroaches. And I was so afraid to sleep there. I was like, we're thinking these cockroaches are going to attack us. But I had to go to bed. So me and my sister, we went to bed. Um, then late at night, she wakes me up. It's like Shuni's. I feel something in my hair. And I'm like, eh, okay, carry on sleeping. Eh, hey, she wakes me up again. Show knees. I'm telling you, there's something in my hair. So I get up to turn on the lights. I look at her hair. Mm, I see nothing. Then she gets up and she turns around. Honey, a big flying cockroach in her hair. We screamed and jumped and she kept doing this for the cockroach to come out that was the scariest thing that ever happened that i think i, I got traumatized that same night we went to where my brother was sleeping with my other cousin we knocked we like let us in we're sleeping in your room sleeping in your room tonight so in that room they had two single beds so my brother had to go share with my other cousin in the one bed my sister and i slept in the other bed that was the worst night ever uh, oof, cockroaches, guys, are so disgusting. What? Hmm. I don't have a bad house guest story. I think it's because I'm such a loner. Like, I just want to stay in my room. I don't really... I don't really talk to people a lot. Um, worst roommate story... She knows herself. It's it's not that bad. It's just it was something she did that was so annoying, and she did it all the time. So she's just so petty like this, <laughs> right? So this was my roommate in first year, and I'd be studying, and I hear this girl drinking her tea, <laughs> and I'm like, why do you have to sip it like that, or why are you drinking your tea when it's so hot? And she says. No, this is how I drink it, even when it's cold. <laughs> and she knows herself. You know yourself. I really hope you don't do that anymore. Please. And I know she's gonna be watching this video. Please. <laughs> don't do it. It's 2020. Don't do it. And guys, the very last question. Farting. Yo most embarrassing thing ever to fart no i don't think we need to fart. okay maybe we do but still i'd eliminate that guys farting it's disgusting it's smelly it's embarrassing so mm -mm. 
I would, I, I would eliminate farting. Sure. So, guys, those were thirty-one questions. Um, I think this is a very long video. I don't know, but I had so much fun, and um, I don't know if you feel like you got to know me by these thirty-one questions. Um, if you think, if 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 you want to ask more, if you want to know more about me, just ask. Just put in the comment section. Ask me anything, even if it's weird or crazy or funny. I'd actually like one of those questions. I think these ones are a bit too, uh, were a bit too serious. Um, so, yeah, man. Those are the 31 questions I had for you. And I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you got to know me a bit more better. And I know I promised you that I'll sing something. <laughs> I cannot do it. I am so shy. I think that's the one thing people don't know about me. I don't act shy, but deep inside, my heart is just beating. <laughs> my mouth gets dry, my palms get sweaty, I my hands shake. So, yeah, what can I sing? Should I sing Happy Birthday? That's just weird, right? Um, okay, I have a song. One, two, one, two. Look at the stars. Look how they shine for you. All the things you do. And they were all yellow. I drew a line. I drew a line for you. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it there. <laughs> that was my singing. Let me know if I can actually sing. Um, if you wanna be my voice coach, please, you are, you are most welcome. Um, thank you guys for watching my video. Uh, I hope you laughed with me. You know, I hope it wasn't too serious, too dull, too boring. And yeah, man, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.